Legend of Total War here, and today we've got a rating your one man doom stack. This is the first one I think that I've covered that is not actually a legendary lord. We've just got a relatively generic uh, tree lord um, playing as the Heralds of Ariel. I think this guy's trait is the murder of spites, so he is like a mortis engine. And he's uh, got some of the Forge of Death items, but I'm not actually sure which ones because I can't hover over them at the moment. Uh, we've got the Armor of Destiny, uh, Talisman of Preservation, Forbidden Rod. So looking at his resistances, which is super important when dealing with this kind of stuff. Um, he's got, let's see, Ward Save first. 52% Ward Save, 40% Physical Resistance, 20% Missile Resistance, 45% Magic. So Magic Resistance is only going to be useful against uh, Belagar Iron Hammer, which is pretty much at the cap anyway because he's got 50... No, no, he is essentially at the cap because... Yeah, 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 because of the ward save. Alright, cool. Well, let's just jump into the battle and see how it goes. But yeah, this is one where we don't actually need the sort of gain. And I think this one's unbreakable as well. So he may have defeated Gotrick. I'm not entirely sure. But yeah, this is a decent amount of enemies to go up against. Like, nearly two full stacks worth of dwarfs. We have Vanguard deploy right at the start. Um... Yeah, I think that'll be pretty funny. We'll just go stand right here. I mean, you could go put over here. They do fight better in the trees, but they're going to be blobbed up like crazy at the start. And he's actually faster than the dwarf. So if we need to run back, we can. <laughs> Hello. All right, let's see here. Wait for them to crowd around us a little bit more before we pop down the dwellers below. Because, yeah, we got tons of winds of magic because uh, the wood elves, except for Draka, could just recruit unlimited, unknowledgeable lords. Yeah, get rid of these gunners. Doesn't matter if you hit yourself with it because it's not going to do much damage. Oh, yeah, they're pretty good at dodging that spell. You really gotta tie them down. And yeah, he's got absolutely shitloads of health. 16,000. That's tons. Where did Bella go? Oh, he's over there. I guess one of the biggest problems with a one-man doom stack is that the enemy army never fully commits to your one lord. Whereas if you've got like 20 tree men here, at least they'll all crowd around it. Making it a lot easier to do Dwellers Below. First thing we need to prioritize killing is definitely the Gunners. Because only so many melee units can attack us at a time, but essentially an unlimited number of guns can shoot at us at any given time. I'm not too concerned about the rangers. Really want to get rid of the gunners, though. Uh, we got one Winds of Magic Awakening in the woods, which isn't great against dwarfs, but it's only one wind, so let's see how much damage it does. Uh, you know, one Winds of Magic, you know, it's, it's pretty good. Oh, I don't know if I don't know if they're gonna stay there. Let's go for them then. Yeah, look, they're about to walk right into it. Overcasting that spell is not a good idea. All it does is reduce their speed, doesn't increase the amount of damage you do. Alright, getting bogged down by these giant slayers is not worth it. I really want to close in on the uh, on the missile units to stop them from shooting as much as possible. We've also got a Forbidden Rod, uh, yeah, put it in there. which, yeah, let's use it, because we've got so much mi uh, magic resistance, it's probably not going to do that much to us. Ah, uh, they fucking ran out of the way there. That happens. Could also help to get into the trees to get more winds of magic. 
But we seem to be okay for the time being. Taking a bit of damage. We're unbreakable. Let me just double check that. We got bounce of power. That was not what they uh, said on the campaign map. Yeah, we're unbreakable. It doesn't have the Sword of Cain, so he must have defeated Gotrick to get it. Otherwise, I'm not entirely sure. Or maybe he's got... Yeah, I can only think he would have to have defeated Gotrick. Or maybe one of the other items. Look, we'll find out in the campaign map. Alright, good amount of damage, not necessarily tons of kills. That's another thing, we want to get as many of them to crowd around us as possible so that we act as the Mortis Engine. What do you really should be dueling in there, Lords? Uh, cancel that, cancel that. They're gonna move out of the way. Okay, what I think would be a good idea at this point here is actually to run away from them just for a short time, give us some time to regen. Because we got so much regeneration, we should try to make use of it. And we're faster than even their slayers, I think. Yeah. Their slayers are hurting us a fair bit. Which is weird. We are faster than them. Okay, good. Go away from them. Because we could use our magic to regenerate, but... I mean, you get free healing from here, so might as well use it. Cool. Just do a bit of damage to them while they're coming in there. But the AI is getting better at dodging spells. Okay, we're hidden... Oh, it's only going to stay hidden for a short time. Cool. <laughs> fine by me. Are they, yeah, okay, whatever. Uh, maybe I should use the regrowth a little bit. It's actually more efficient to overcast. It's only three extra wins. And you get a, a good amount of extra healing. And even if we miscast, this doesn't cause much damage. Okay. Now I think we should probably go in there and get rid of the organ guns. Bounce of power has improved a bit. Yeah, it's just all their guns shooting at us. This is definitely, a, like, a good enemy to go up against, because, uh... Dwarves are pretty good at taking down trees. But I reckon the most difficult enemy you could go up against would be, um... Probably a Rider Primeval Glory army. Or, um... Maybe even a Dark Elf army. Because, uh... Their, their ability to dish out damage is... Pretty nasty. Okay, well, he won't be able to heal to full in this battle. So that indicates that we've taken a ton of damage, because uh, he had heaps of health. But this is a very high damage armor. Yeah, that wasn't a great cast there. Anything here to stop the fucking organ guns from shooting. Because even at like 90% ward save, they just do so much damage. Just sit there and take it. Good. Yeah, he's going down. He's going down. This isn't. Uh, this isn't invincible. No, no army is invincible. Tying us down with melee infantry. Then shooting us with their guns.
But if we have a look here, we've taken out most of their units. It's just finishing off their guns, I suppose, is the problem. Focus on the missile units. Even the uh, the single entity dudes there, the, the lords aren't going to do that much damage to us. Uh, well, there's the army losses. Despite army bounce power not even being close to being in our favor. In fact, even with the army losses, it's still not in our favor because the slayers are still rated higher than us. Oh, but as they're shattering, it's... Um Causing more bounce power loss. Because this one here, it's still actually um, providing some bounce power for them. So you watch, as soon as that leaves. Yeah, see, look at the difference that made. Alright, let's finish this off. Well, the good thing about this Doomstack is that it doesn't take it very long to finish off the battle. Get another regrowth in. Just try to get as much of our healing done as possible before the battle ends. There's only one dude left anyway. As soon as he dies, the battle's over. Alright, that'll finish off our healing and then. Get rid of him. Alright, let's have a look at like the traits and equipment that he's got. Obviously, we will have a look at some of the equipment, but I wasn't sure what the other two items were. But yeah, very powerful lord, for sure. Especially considering most of the time we weren't actually in the trees. But yeah, the worst thing that that uh, the tree men have to deal with is like loads and loads of missile units, especially armor-piercing ones like this. Oh, you can get extra physical resistance with that as well. But, I mean, you're already at the cap, so it doesn't matter. Alright, let's have a look. It's good that we're on the attack here. I don't have to wait for a bloody another end turn. Alright, so we got the Reforged Dragon Spear, which... I don't really think it needed that. Like, extra melee attack, the Dragon Spear ability. Our melee ability wasn't really that important. The Reforged Dragon Pendant is how we got so much health. Ward save, hit points, yeah, yeah. That's all really good. Let me have a look, see if we could do better than Reforged Dragon Spear. Like, that one's got armor-piercing weapon damage plus 100 by default. I mean, this one's got 80. So, let's have a look here. Uh, the, uh, hang on. If we have a look at the Forge of Death. Just having a look at all the various weapons. To see if there was actually a better one to use. Well, obviously that would have been useless. No. Yeah, n none of the, the weapons would have really done anything. So I guess of the ones that you've got, that one's fine, I suppose. Yeah. So let's have a look at the traits here. Did you go around and get everything? That's not really needed with the uh, with the Wood Elves, because you already get heaps of Winds of Magic anyway. Yep, there's, uh, there's that one. You got the Gore Drench there. Okay, yeah, so that's why we got so much health. Slaying King Slayer, good. Yep, defeated Gotrick. Yep, that's good. Yep. Alright, one thing I'm not noticing here that would have actually been very helpful is um, Gorok's trait. Not Gorok, sorry, um, uh, Krokgar's trait for the extra 10 melee defense. Because 60 melee defense, like, that's okay. 
but an extra 10 would have just reduced their chance to hit in melee, especially with those um, those axe-wielding slayers would have taken a lot less damage. But the main thing here is just having a lot of missile resistance. But apart from that, uh, they really can't get much stronger with a with a lord there. This is definitely better than some of the legendary lords that were sent in. And there was no Sword of Cain, which is good, because people are absolutely sick of the Sword of Cain ones, which I don't blame them. So if I was to rate this... I mean, there's no real downside to it. It's just using up two of the unique items. Uh, well, you're also using up uh, one of the officers. So this one, that's him there. He's got the tree. So that, that's a really good one. Regeneration for treemen and uh, tree and dryads. So if you're going to put them in the, the tree singer, you probably... Well, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Why does he even need to be there? He's got... Isabella's trait. So all you're really doing is reducing the winds of magic cost minus three for the awakening of the woods, and I barely used that. So it makes no difference if he's in there or not. He might be better off. No, he can't go up this way. He doesn't. He doesn't need to be in here. All right. Well, that's fine. That's fine. Um. Yeah. Okay. I'd probably rate this nine out of ten, just because I feel as if there are armies out there that this would struggle with. This is definitely an anti-infantry army, a one-man doomstack, whereas a Rite of Primeval Glory army with like loads of anti-large carnosaurs, I think would give it a hard time because it's not the greatest at melee. Like, it's good in melee, don't get me wrong. I mean, it's got a lot of anti-large as well. Maybe it would be able to handle it. Hmm. I don't know. I feel like I don't know, maybe maybe 9.5 out of 10. Because it is really, really good for a one-man doomstack. And it's not breaking your bank. You know. Don't exactly have a load of income coming through. Campaign seems wood elfy. Loads of settlements all over the place. Um, that's how it's been designed now. So yeah, I think 9.5 out of 10. I think maybe I'd give it 10 out of 10 if you had gotten Krokgar's trait. Just for the extra 10 melee defense. And there's also Nakai's trait. But I don't expect Nakai to even be alive. He's very hard to hunt down. But anyway, that's the end of this one here, guys. Let me know what you think about this. I think the guy put in a lot of effort to make this one work so well. And it was really good. We're already very much aware that uh, Treeman Doomstacks are super powerful against pretty much anything. Um, but yeah, I think that was pretty good. Anyway, that's the end of this one. Appreciate you guys. And I'll see you next time, fuckers. Bye.